Hello my frugal friends, welcome back to another week of meals and whatnot at our place. If we haven't had the chance to hang out before, my name is Nikki. I love sharing all of the tips and tricks and things that have helped our family learn to budget better, demolish all of our debt. We are 100% consumer debt free after paying off $73,000 worth of debt in just 22 months. Following things like Dave Ramsey and Scott Pape and my personal money mentor Danny J and her Find the Money project. Uh, Jordan Page from funchiplefree.com, The Budget Mum. I mean, there is just a list of people that we have learnt from on our journey to manage our money better but also start living more frugally so that we're not caught up in that consumer rat race that was really keeping us broke in the first place. Whew, that is a really, really long intro and I did not know that I was going to say all of that, but there you go. I suppose that's what happens when you just hit record and go for it. Anyways, one of the things that we really learnt to tackle and rein in that made a huge difference to our budget and our bottom line but also got us thinking about living more environmentally consciously and all of that sort of stuff is food wastage and having an abundance of food on hand that we're not using regularly. So this week we are having a pantry challenge. We've got to that point where I know that we have an abundance of food on hand, partly because of that massive markdown haul that we had last week. If you haven't had a chance to go and check that out, I will link that up above. But we went to Coles and it was like the whole place was like a fire sale. Everything must go. It was crazy. And I would be lying if I didn't say that I love stickers because I do. I love stickers. I love markdown stickers and I get excited when I find them and I know what I can do with them. My mind goes crazy and I'm like, oh, I could do this and I could do this and I could do this. And that's all well and good, but you got to go through with it. You have to do the things you have to ha go through the, with your plan of what you're going to do with all of the stickers. Otherwise it is technically it's a waste of money because you are swapping your hard-earned cash for all of these goodies that are just going to sit on the shelf in your pantry or sit in your freezer and you're just tying up money. So we are having a pantry challenge this week. This is one of our ways that we save money. It's our one of our mini saving challenges and it is going to be our mini savings challenge for January. Every month this year we're going to come up with a different mini savings challenge a way to put some extra dollars back into your bank account. You can use that to build up your mini emergency fund if you don't have one already. You could use it as extra payments to get ahead with some of those debts that you just can't get any traction in. You can use it for savings if you are saving up to do something. Perhaps you're like us and you have a crazy dream of buying a house and having no mortgage. What a lovely dream that would be. So here's a few extra dollars to throw at that challenge. And although it doesn't seem like much, if you do this a couple of times a year, you are actually throwing quite a bit of money at your goals. And the interesting thing is that the more that we did this and the more regularly we started to incorporate a pantry challenge into our meal planning and started to be more conscious about what we were buying, about reducing our waste, making sure that everything that we bought we had a plan for and we went through with it, we executed that plan and we used the stuff the way that we intended to use it and not just let it sit around and accumulate dust or ice crystal crystals, ice crystals in the freezer, you know what I'm trying to say, anyways, that we actually started to rein in our grocery budget and we went from spending over $1,100 a month. We were spending about $1,100 to $1,300 a month on food for our family of five and we brought that all the way back to $600 a month which is crazy. We basically cut it in half by being mindful about what we were doing, about being intentional about using all the stuff up and every now and then having a pantry challenge where we didn't go grocery shopping, we just used up all of the odds and ends and bits and pieces and things that we had and we made it work. 
that is what we are doing this week. The aim of the game is to save all of our grocery budget allocation for this week. So for us, that is $100. We are down to a family of three now. Our older two boys are now adults. They've moved on. They've flown out of the nest and they're doing their own thing. So it's just myself, my husband and our nine-year-old daughter still at home. So we have a family grocery budget of $100 a week or $400 for the month. So I'm not going to go grocery shopping this week. I'm just going to save that $100 and I'm going to put that straight into our house savings account. Bing, bang, boom. January's mini saving challenge is done. All right. But what this video really, really is about is how do I get ready to do that? And I'm going to go take you guys behind the scenes with me here today, not just talk at you. I'm going to show you how we get ready for the week, the things that I do to get ready for a pantry challenge, to get motivated, to get excited, but to also keep me on track so that I don't open the fridge, open the pantry, open the freezer and go, oh, there's nothing here. Or there's nothing that I really want to cook. They're the two things that I need to let go of. So the first thing that I do is I start making an inventory. I write down everything that's in there, paying particular attention to the things that I know have been hanging around for a little bit longer than I would like to admit, and they get highlighted. It's, it's use it week. I'm using those things up regardless of what I need to do to make that happen. Those things gotta go. All right, so I am going to start by taking an inventory of all of the things that we have in here. The outside chest freezer, although it's not huge, uh, does hold quite a bit. So we're definitely getting a bit of a stockpile in here. And my plan for today is to make a plan to use this stuff up uh, over the next week and possibly the coming weeks as well. So I'm going to go grab my pen and paper and we are going to get started with our list. All right, so same in here as well. Just going to jot all of this down, even if it's just, you know, maybe there's a cup of peas left in there, which is probably what I'm guessing or even less than. I'm going to jot it all down which is a bit time consuming, but my new method that I'm going to be using this year, uh, the first time that I do it will be a bit time consuming, but from then on, uh, once I show you guys what I'm gonna do, I think it's actually gonna save me a bit of time, but this is my first big inventory for 2021. So there is quite a bit to jot down because there is a surprising amount of food in this small little freezer. So this is one of the notebooks that I picked up uh, this year that you may have seen in my Christmas video. And what I wanna do with this is keep a running list of things that we need to use up. So this is gonna be my meal plan and shopping list. The idea is once I've got this master list happening though, as I use things, I can just cross them off and I don't have to go digging through the pantry and the freezer again each time to find this stuff. If it's not crossed off, I can transfer it across to the next week and make sure that it gets uh, used. And if I buy anything new, clearance and marked down, I can jot it down on here before it goes in to the freezer and I can cross it off as it gets used. So I've got a running list. Now I was doing this, I had a notepad that uh, I was doing this on but they were individual pieces of paper and sometimes I would lose it sometimes it would go into my handbag and disappear into the depths and never return but I think this method this year having it actually in a notebook is going to work really well and as you can see this is the stuff that is just in the freezer oh sorry that's a bit wobbly lots of things to use up haven't started on the list for the fridge, haven't started on the list of stuff for the pantry, but uh, we got a bit to work with here. And don't forget in the fridge as well, the goal is to use up all of this stuff first, or at least preserve it so that it is uh, used and doesn't go bad. But fresh produce first, and that includes 
of these bits and pieces that we have over here on the door as well and my little hidey hole of leftover HelloFresh sauces they won't last forever and I don't even know when the last time was we went to Hungry Jack's but we keep everything so we need to use this stuff up now as far as all the pantry stuff goes I actually saw this little tip just recently from uh, Aussie Debt Free Girl, I think it was. I will link down below because I'm just having one of those moments where I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't actually remember who I saw do this. But this is brilliant. So when she does a pantry challenge, what she does is she has a container that she just goes and gets all of the things out of the pantry that she wants to use up and she just puts them all in one place. And it does not go back into her pantry. And I love this idea because we have all of the things together that we want to use up. And I'm going to put it out on the bench so that I'm looking at it and being motivated to use it. So rather than writing it down and then putting it back into the pantry, what we're going to do is leave this stuff out. So I know this is the stuff that I want to use up. Now I have three packets of quinoa. One of them is open, so let's use it up. We have some polenta that is open. I've also found some things like some red lentils and split peas that need to be used up so i'm going to do something with all of those a box of couscous that is open so these are all the sorts of things that i want to make sure that are getting used and not just sitting in on the pantry shelf um, and going bad because they're not they're not sealed i also did find a packet of rice and corn spaghetti noodles that I know have been hanging around for a very, very long time. We need to use those up. Um, the korma sauce has been there for a while. Nobody particularly likes it, which I think is why it's sitting there. But we're just going to suck it up and use it. I also have a tiny little bit of brown rice left. We don't do brown rice a lot. Uh, and this has been hanging around for a while and I just want to get rid of it and repurpose this container for something else. So that's going to happen. Uh, a couple of um, specialty items here. These are egg-free, dairy-free pancake mix that just needs to be used up. Uh, these, this is two packets. One packet got damaged, so it's in a container. I would like to use this container of the Payala mix up before this one gets used. And then I can't remember what's in here because it doesn't have any of the information. So I've been keeping those two together um, and meaning to use up this one, which had a damaged box. This is the week we're going to do it. If you've been following along for a little while, you may have seen this tin of chickpeas. Uh, it's been hanging around for longer than what I would like to admit. And it just keeps going back in the pantry. So it's not going back in the pantry. It's, it's going to get used this week and it's staying out. The other thing is I do have lots of containers here of things that are open that just need to be used up. So this is some yeast and bread improver. Um, this is sushi rice that has been opened, so need to use that up. And some custard powder that there isn't very much of, so let's use it. Let's clean these containers out. And I'm not exactly sure what the meal plan is going to look like, but this is where we're at, and I really like the idea of the basket method. I think this is gonna be fantastic. All right, well, here's the deal. We are having a pantry challenge at our place this week. And of course, I would love you guys to join in the fun. So whether you're doing it in time with us, if you are catching this video when it first goes live, or you know, if you happen to be catching this video later on down the track in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, it doesn't matter. Any time is the perfect time to have a pantry challenge. You can just walk around your kitchen, have a look in your fridge, your freezer, and your pantry. And if you start to think, you know what, we're starting to get a little bit of a build up here. The first step is to do an inventory and see just how much food you actually have. And you might be surprised at how much you already have on hand. If that's you, then why don't you join us for a pantry challenge? See how much of your grocery allocation you can save this week by shopping your fridge, freezer, and pantry first, 
and avoiding the supermarket if you can and if you can do that I challenge you to put that money towards good use start at the bottom if you don't have a mini emergency fund of one thousand to two thousand dollars depending on who you're following and the program and whatever I don't have a personal preference whichever one of those two works well for you Dave Ramsey is a thousand dollars so at least start there then I would put that money towards your mini emergency fund and don't touch it. If you're already starting to demolish all of your debts and pay them off, then take the money that you would have spent on groceries this week, eat the food that you've already got at home and throw that money towards your smallest debt. It might be $25, it might be $50, it might be $150. It doesn't matter every little bit makes a difference and that goes for those big goals as well you might be saving up to buy a house like us and your goal may be to have say fifty thousand dollars in the bank as a deposit and twenty five dollars doesn't seem like very much but all of those little bits and pieces add up like my money mentor danny J says all the time be faithful with the little things and that's what we're doing with this pantry challenge so of course, I would love to hear from you in the comments if you are going to join in some of the fun. Let me know that you are going to tackle a pantry challenge at your place and I would love to hear from you how much food did you actually find. We're always really surprised at just how many meals we can pull together with all the things that we already have on hand. So I'd love to hear from you. Did you get a couple of dinners? Maybe you found a week's worth of lunches and you didn't have to buy anything for lunches or breakfast or maybe you made it the whole week or two weeks. Who knows? Let me know in the comments. Let me know how far you went with the things that you already had on hand. And like always, if you enjoyed today's video, if you could please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. It lets me know the kind of content that you guys are enjoying and what you would like to see more of. And of course, if you would like to see more, then maybe go ahead and think about hitting that little subscribe button down below. It is the best way to be notified of my new content when it comes out. And I've got heaps more little tricks like this one up my sleeve to share with you guys in 2021. We're going to do a different type of savings, mini savings challenge every single month. It's helping us work towards our big goals, but it's some new ideas, maybe some different ideas, or maybe just a little bit of a kick up the tush, which all of us need every now and then, just to remind ourselves that the small things really do make a difference. And sometimes it's just a little bit of motivation and inspiration when somebody else does something that you already know that you should be doing. You're like, actually, you know what? It's probably time for another pantry challenge at our place. Anyways, this has turned into a super long video, <laughs> so thanks so much for spending a little bit of time here with me today. I'm going to stop talking. I am going to say goodbye. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Good luck with your pantry challenges and let me know how you go. Until then, take care <laughs> and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.